There is something genuinely new that happens in discrete time systems. This bifurcation is a little bit different than anything that we've seen. This is called the period doubling bifurcation, and it has the following normal form in discrete time only. EX equals quantity negative 1 plus mu X plus C times X cubed, where C is some non-zero constant. There might be higher order terms in there as well, but we're going to forget about them. Now notice the similarity between this and a pitchfork bifurcation, but you've got that negative one out in front instead of a positive one. That's a little bit different. Now, just like with the pitchfork, this system has an equilibrium at x equals zero, but that's it. There are no other equilibria, just that one. To analyze it, we take the derivative of the right-hand side. That derivative evaluated at zero is clearly negative one plus mu. That means that when mu is negative, this is an unstable equilibrium. When mu is positive, this is a stable equilibrium. And that's it. That's all there is. But what is interesting here is not the equilibria. And what distinguishes this from a continuous time system is that this bifurcation produces a periodic orbit, a periodic orbit of period two, hence the name period doubling. If one examines the equilibria of the second shift of x, then one can find that periodic orbit and a little bit more that is happening. If we do like we did for the other discrete time bifurcations and jump to the diagram, then what do we see happening in the case where mu is passing through zero? We see in this particular case, a single stable equilibrium when mu is positive, turning to an unstable equilibrium when mu is negative and throwing off a stable period two orbit. This is exactly the form that the period doubling bifurcation takes in general. But there is a little something worth noticing. And that is, as with the pitchfork, the dependence on the constant C. When C is positive, we have what is called a supercritical period doubling bifurcation. That's the one that we've just illustrated. But when C is negative, we have a subcritical period doubling bifurcation. And what that looks like is that on one side of the bifurcation, you have an unstable equilibrium that past the bifurcation becomes stable and throws off an unstable period to orbit. Very, very similar to what is happening with a subcritical pitchfork bifurcation. Now, this isn't the complete story. Period doubling bifurcations have a little bit more going on than at first appears. You're going to want to remember this one, and someday we'll return to this and fill in a few details.